the immediate cause for the, the United States getting older, its population getting older, uh, are the baby boomers. They were a famous generation when they were born, starting right after World War II. Uh, they were famous when they were young, and now uh, 10,000 baby boomers a day will turn 65 every single day between now and the year 2030. It's interesting when you think about the generation gap, and baby boomers were sort of infamous for fighting with their parents' generation and wanting change and you know, being almost revolutionary in that sense. And when you see millennials and boomers today, you don't see that kind of outward conflict. But when we've asked whether there's a generation gap today between young adults and older adults, we find that an equal share see a generation gap now, as did when you know, previous polling organizations asked about this in the 1960s or 1970s. So it's still there. And I think when we try to dig a little bit deeper and find out what's the basis for that gap, a lot of people point to the different sort of moral standards and values of the generations. Each generation of American adults has been less affiliated than the previous generation. So successively, if you go back to the, to the greatest generation, the World War II generation, the vast majority of folks in that generation identified with a religion. Look then at the boomer generation, my generation. In the boomer generation today, eight in 10 adults identify with a religion. In the Gen X generation, a little bit fewer. And in the youngest generation of American adults today, the millennial generation, two thirds identify with a religion, but fully a third do not identify with any religion. That is, when you ask them what is their religion, they say that they're atheist, agnostic, or, and this is the biggest subgroup, nothing in particular. 